City with a new coach, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> How'd that go? Introductions out there? Get those out of the way? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Already previously had a relationship, but it went really well. What What have you learned about him already, or what did you already know, except from that relationship? So, our relationship has been since I was in high school. Uh, he was previously at Florida State, and, you know, throughout that whole recruiting process, just building on our relationship then, and knowing who he was before uh, we got here. So, um, it's, been, it's been awesome to see him and, you know, continue that. Jose was talking about how he wanted to involve you guys in the room in the process of looking for that new coach. Uh, can you just take us inside what that was like for you guys as running backs, maybe be in on the process of finding the guy who's going to be your coach? Yeah, definitely. Uh, throughout that whole process, you know, Coach Day kept us updated on, you know, what we were looking for as far as the room, asking us what we were looking for, and, uh, you know, just telling us what he wanted for us in that uh, in our room. And, you know, we just – been updated about it and you know we're here. So what were you looking for? I think as a room we all previously gave our input on you know what we wanted but <laughs> so, dog, it's good. Can you just get up to the mic for me? I'm I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry. But uh yeah what we all wanted as a room so yeah it went well. What was he uh you with him coaching you guys in practice what's he like as a coach in practice now that you get to out there? Uh, first day, you know, he didn't really talk that much, but, um, you know, he gave us some tips and certain things to work on. And as he's learning our offense as well, because he just got here. So I think he's he's been great so far. Well, you guys coaches gonna miss? leave all the time. I don't know how often people, coaches leave in the middle yeah. of the spring practice. Yeah. How surprised were you? What was your reaction to coming off of leaving? Um, you know, just with the situation of college football where it is today, I understood, you know, he, Coach Offer had to do what was best for him, but you know I'm here at Ohio State not only just for everything around it, but I'm, I'm just here for the university in itself. So I think just focusing on the bigger picture and you know the brotherhood that's here and what's important to me. That's what I was focusing on throughout surprise everything. Uh, pretty surprised. I just got here like not too often ago, but I mean you know like I said I understood it. And, you know just came here and continued what's to work. Some, what's something you picked up from Coach Offer? You'll carry with you. I mean, I, yeah, I definitely. imagine you pick up something from everybody you're ever right. associated with. Right, and everyone I'm around, I've, I've picked up something from. And I think Coach Alfred, I've learned a lot while his time was here. You know, he taught me a lot of different things, specifically about the position and other position as well on the field. So I, I have learned a lot while his time was here, and, and I and thank and him for that. Coach Lockman, what, what, what's sort of different about him? I mean, he seems like a high-energy guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, how would you describe him? Yeah, so with Coach Lachlan, I mean, I've only been around him for yeah. a day, so I don't really know. But uh, as you can see where he's coached and how he is as a person, he's very high energy, he's very intense, you know. And um, I think he's very hands-on. So I think it will be awesome to be working with Coach Lachlan. How What's your opinion of soft batch cookies? What's your opinion of soft batch cookies? Did uh, he mention that in, in the first meeting with you guys? How? No, no, not yet. How much did you get to, to – he was at Florida State. You said you had met him or knew him from then. How mm -hmm. much interaction did you have with he was at that a lot. So we're from the same city. Uh, me and him are from the same place um, at Florida State. You know, he worked on that staff with Coach uh, Johnson, and they offered me out of high school. So the relationship was already there then, and we just continued to build on from then. What, is, what, is it, what did the medium that he offered? You uh, it meant a lot, you know, just the things that we talked about since I was younger in high school, you know, um, just to have that opportunity to go uh, play there. So, John, 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 what's the rest of the spring look like for you? Like, what, where do you want to see yourself get better? Yeah, just to continue to improve all around, you know, continue to learn the offense and get involved in everywhere that I can on the field and just be able to improve my game all around. I know we were only in here for, for Saturday. We haven't seen you guys practice a lot, but I saw you come out of the backfield, catch a touchdown pass from Will. Uh, are you just pushing to, to continue to get better out of the backfield? Where do you feel like you are as far as learning the offense and being a pass catcher up the backfield? Yeah, definitely. That's my goal, to just continue to improve everywhere. But I think just overall is just helping the team any way that the team needs to be helped and just being a team player. That's that's my deal, just trying to come in and, you know, help the team, whatever the team needs. How did you guys find out Tony was leaving? Did he talk to you guys about it at all? Um, actually, I honestly don't remember how I found out, um, but I just remember like the process on what was where we were going to do moving forward. Ryan Day's talked a lot about the leadership Travion's brought to the running back room this spring. What? How have you seen that from him? Yeah, definitely. Um, Travion, is, like I said, has an, improved. Um, he's been a leader to the whole room, you know, by his actions and vocally as well. Just you know, continue to improve 
improve all around and inspire the young guys in the room. And I think he's done very good at that. And Coach Day was Two saying that you know TC Caffey is a guy that can contribute for you guys as well. What have you seen from him as a walk on to be able to contribute in your run? Yeah, definitely. Uh, TC works very hard. Uh, he knows the offense. He's always in the playbook, always in the meetings, writing things down. Uh, very head down guy. You know, he doesn't really talk that much, but he, he's very good. So, which, uh, how time you ran a forty? What would you run? Oh, it's like so many questions. I was asked, uh, how was uh, how was Coach Day like as a running backs coach for? for two <laughs> it's crazy great? you say that because he just told us he's like, well, guys, it's probably my last week with y'all, and I'm out. So, <laughs> <laughs> but um, Coach Day has been awesome. You know, he's taught us a lot of different things um, as far as scheme and different positions that he's coached overall, and you know, taught us a lot of different things that we learned. Um, Overall, so it's been awesome. I, I know it's probably unsettling not to have a position coach for two weeks, but what did it also mean? You have like the head coach being that hands on with your group. Yeah, definitely, it meant a lot. You know, to have Coach Day in those meetings teaching us everything that he's put in and implementing implementing it into our game and showing us how he specifically wants it is it was really good to have him there. He was talking about a lightning yell from the perspective of how a quarterback kind of looks at things. Right. Did, what do you remember taking away from? Yeah, it's just really like not only looking at it from a running back perspective, but also as a quarterback as well, looking at certain reads, uh, certain blitzes from other players, and just looking at it all around from yeah. the field. And I asked you a second ago, uh, what's the last time you ran a 40 and got time? Because you look really fast on that, on that uh, wheel route the other day. Yeah, I, actually, I don't really remember, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, how comfortable are you, are, are you in that phase of the game? Yeah, the definitely really comfortable. Like I said, I'm, I've been improving. The start of this year, you know, coming here, just improving my game all around. So. You what, mentioned right, Coach Buckland was pretty quiet today. Is that disconcerting? Are you, like, waiting for, like, some I'm, feedback? I'm waiting. I'm wa I mean, he, he's giving me a lot of feedback um, <clears throat> today on practice, you know, different plays, what he thinks, you know, what he's happy about. But I think uh, the energy is going to come soon. So I'm all excited. Right. Did, you, did you get any props for your blitz pickup on that pass to Jeremiah that everyone was freaking out about? Oh, uh, yeah. I did. You did? Okay. How – where are you in that part of your game? You think, like, you know, when blitz pickups? Blitz pick up blocking in the back of the back. I know it's particularly yeah. important. You're just, yeah, yeah, pretty solid. Um, I think, like I said, just improving my game all around. That's the goal. Continue to build every day and not be the same player that you were yesterday. So that's really my goal. But I think I've been pretty solid at it for sure. All right, Quinchon. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.